Hello seniors, I am Ms. Bird, your Dean of Students, and I would like to welcome you to the required Title IX training. Today I will be providing you with important information about sexual harassment. So let's begin. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to define two types of harassment, discuss what it looks like, and how to safely report harassment after it occurs so all people involved can get the help and support they need. The Safe Space Declaimer Statement states, this is a safe place for all students. Our school district is committed to making this a welcoming, open space for everyone to learn, grow, and develop. We can do this by showing respect for others as individuals by learning and using their preferred names and pronouns providing room for each person to explore their own identities and allowing others to define their own identities to speak for themselves. Supporting an atmosphere of learning and growth and respecting confidentiality. So what is sexual harassment? The law defines sexual harassment as any unwanted or unwelcome behavior of sexual nature that makes you feel uncomfortable, fearful, or powerless and interferes with your schoolwork. Sexual harassment can happen to anyone. So what exactly does unwelcome mean? According to the U.S. Department of Education, conduct of sexual nature is unwelcome when the student being harassed did not request or invite the conduct and regarded it as offensive or undesirable. Protection against harassment. Title IX is a federal civil rights law that prohibits discrimination on the basis of sex, including the basis of sex stereotypes in education programs and activities. All public schools and any private schools receiving federal funds must comply with Title IX. Gender-based violence and harassment are behaviors that are committed because of a person's gender or sex. They can be carried out by a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a date, other kids, or even adults. Under Title IX, discrimination on the basis of sex can include sexual harassment or sexual violence, such as rape, sexual assault, sexual battery, sexual coercion, or dating violence. Here are some examples of sexual harassment. Sexual comments about a person's body, sexual gestures, sexual dirty jokes, sexual touching, sexual suggestions or advances, showing offensive sexual pictures, stories, or objects, sexual graffiti, spreading rumors about another student's sexual behavior, talking about one's own sexual activities in front of others, touching oneself in a sexual manner in front of others, and name calling of a sexual nature. Teachers, at this time, pause this recording and show the confronting sexual harassment and bullying video located on YouTube. Once you have completed the video, return back to this recording. I'll be waiting right here. Now let's talk about what we've seen on the video. Teachers, at this time, pause the recording and allow students to discuss in small groups specific suggestions for reducing the occurrence of bullying and harassment at school, and how we might encourage students to report if an incident should occur. Have a spokesperson for each group share at least one to two main points that they discussed. Once you complete your discussion, please return back to this recording. I'll see you soon. In the event of sexual harassment, these are some of the things that you should do. Do not ignore sexual harassment. Tell the person you do not like their behavior and ask them to stop. 
If you feel you can't tell them directly, simply write a note. You need to tell your parents or guardians and or tell a teacher, counselor, or administrator at the school. Talk to someone you trust about how you're feeling. Friends, parents, or guardians, siblings, a trusted teacher, counselor, or administrator can be helpful and provide you with the support that you may need. Tell your teacher, counselor, or principal that you are being sexually harassed. If you are not comfortable doing this, your parents or guardians can. The school has a legal responsibility to respond to sexual harassment of its students. You have now completed the Title IX training. With that said, go Lions!